Hi, I'm Rick. Today I'm going to do a video on artichokes. I mean, I really never knew much about artichokes. I didn't even know the name artichoke. I thought it was scacciofla. That was the name that we were told in uh, Italian. Anyway, um, my father-in-law was uh, into these, and he, uh, so I used to call him, say, like, uh, call him up about 9 o'clock, and i say, hey, Dad, uh, how about lunch? Uh, are we coming over? Yeah, 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 come on, Rick, come, come on, I'll, I'll cook lunch. All right, I said, I said to you about, I said, I see you about 12, 12.30. He says, now only 12.30, 10.30. 10.30 to eat lunch? Anyway, so I said, okay, I get over to his house about 10.30. And there he is, cooking up a storm. And he was doing artichokes just one day. And he showed me, he says, what, what you want to do is trim this piece off here. So what, first thing what we'll do is just cut this stem off. Uh, and then... Well, it's a little crooked. So, so you want to make sure it's right on the bottom so it's be flat, all right? Then you take this, this, this stem that you have here, and, and you know, Italians, we eat everything, you know, we eat it all. So what you want to do is you want to trim this. You trim that part here, all right? And then just kind of peel it. Not actually peel it, cut it, you know? What we're doing is just kind of removing this stuff here. All right, there you go. So he would, you know, he would be really into this, doing this, uh, this artichokes and um, getting going. I said, okay, uh, I'm watching him. I said, well, you know, maybe I'll, you know, I'll learn. I, you, know, I'm, you know, he says, uh, I use a pressure cooker. Pressure cooker? I, what do I know about pressure cooker? Man, my mom never used a pressure cooker. I mean, she would just cook one, two, three, boom, it's done. So anyway, uh, pressure cooker. Here's a guy who came to this country Holly spoke English and struggled his, his whole life to become successful. And he knew how to use a pressure cooker. I don't know about a pressure cooker. What do I know about that? So trim it out, okay? Then what you want to do is you want to put it in, uh, in lemon so it doesn't uh, turn, I don't know, yellow, whatever. Oh, lemon make it yellow, right? Okay, here we go. All right, so we're doing this, eh? We keep lemon juice in here. Uh, can you see this? Uh, you can see. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually do the whole thing for you so you can get a better idea of it. Uh, you kind of take off the sides that are like coming off, you know, just peel these. Okay. Here we go. We got it. All right. Uh, there is a bag in that sink. Okay. Then what you want to do is you want to cut it, and you want to cut it, uh, say, like right here at this spot. But you can actually see where they're. Where they're, where they're coming out, so the leaves are coming. So just take it, just almost sore in it. And these things are tough. So I'll peel that off, take these off. All right, all right, now we get rid of that. Now take it and spread it apart with your fingers. You can see this, right? Then take it and then rub it to open it up. Now what we want to do is we want to clean the inside of that. There's a, uh, I don't even know what they call this stuff, but you want to get in there and just get, I got one of these uh, ice cream scoopers. Mm. That's kind of cool, right? So we go in there and we just dig it out. And trying to get this stuff out of here. Well, anyway, so he would be into this, and he would come over at 10.30. I said, all right, we're going to have lunch. You know, I'm a sales rep. I, I, I cover the Bronx, like I said. So, he, you know, I would go sit there, and we'd have this, this lunch. He had this theory, once a day. <laughs> once a day. It was like three meals in one. He'd have make artichokes which he stuffs, which I'm going to do for you today. And he uh, also did uh, veal cutlets. And he, uh, and he would make a, a salad. He would make the potatoes. I mean, it was like it's lunchtime. I mean, and then you have a bottle of wine. Well, well, you didn't have one bottle of wine. We'd have like two bottles of wine. And, you know, his, his glass of wine was like, you know, the jelly glasses? That <laughs> well, unbelievable. So he'd sit and he'd make this this gourmet meal, and we'd sit and we'd BS and whatever, and then, and then he'd finish eating, all of a sudden he'd go 
sit down on the chair and he go to sleep. That leaves me standing there. I'm saying, okay, what am I going to do now? So I decide, ah, I'll clean up a little bit, you know. So I clean up a little bit, and then then I give my call to my wife who was you know was at work, and I say, hey, look, I just was at Dad's house uh, today, and I don't think I'm working the rest of the day. I'll be on my way home, and she was going, by well, I know we're going to have a lot of good leftovers, but he was a, an excellent cook, and and I you know part of what all the, the, the Italian culture is, I mean, it's all about food, you know, it's like you sit in a, a, in, a in the kitchen and you make all your decisions and, and uh, you know, the Italians like everybody else come to this country, they had it rough, like everybody, you know, but they kind of, this is what they did, all right, okay, so what I've done now is kind of dug out all that inside there, I don't actually know what these are called, but you don't want to eat them, you know. So let's just get in there and just clean it up. Okay. All right. So digging it away. Cool, All right? Got my little knife. Make sure I get everything away. Okay, and just open it up and check to it. Hey, you know, hey, uh, where'd you come from? I still want here. I got rid of this guy. Okay, come on. All right, all right, all right. Spread it out. Okay. So now we want to put some lemon on it, and um, you see, I got some lemon in here, and I'll just <laughs> squeeze lemon on it, and I'll rub. There's some lemon juice in here. You know. All right, we're doing this. These are, these are fun. Uh, once you learn how to eat them, I mean, they're really good. Um, and actually, this, this, in fact, I think, you know, I have a few friends who are vegetarians, and, and yeah, you know, that's their choice. So, oh, I have one guy in particular who's like a real, very talented artist, and uh, we once went to, uh, to Spain. I was, a company I was selling for, uh, we went to see, it was a paint company. We went to see them, and they took us took us out to dinner, and they took us to this place in Barcelona that only made lamb. That's all they cooked. I mean, you know, and he's going, okay. He says, you know, I'm, I'm a vegetarian, and they go, why didn't you tell us that? He said, well, you know, he said, I figured I always find something. <laughs> they said it's pretty tough to find stuff in here other than lamb, you know. So. Uh, they made this, this, this lamb dish that was like really good. They didn't make my favorite garbatella lamb's head, but you know, that's another story. Anyway, so, so we, we were there and they said, well, what are we going to do? So they went out and they got some vegetables and stuff like that. And they cooked a real gourmet meal for them. That would turn out, that was good. So uh, these are the chokes of you, kiddo, Bob. And um, here we go. Uh, all right. Okay, uh, we're back. Now what we want to do is we want to stuff these artichokes. Um, I already did two of them, so um, I got two more to do. So I started from scratch, so you can get an idea. What I did is I put some bread in here, and I wet it. Then what we do is, uh, it's kind of what we want to put some breadcrumbs in here. All right. I bought these non-seasoned breadcrumbs. Right. Why should somebody else season it for me? Hey, you know, hey, so we'll put some in here, all right? And next, mix it up a bit, all right? There you go. All right, so we yeah, kind of blend it a bit. Uh, let's put a little bit of salt in here, all right? You know my trick salt shaker, there you go, all right? Mix it up a little bit more. All right. Uh, how about a little dash of garlic powder? Not a lot. Just a little bit. Once it opens. Okay. Okay. What I'm going to do though is uh, mash some garlic. You know, I got a garlic you know, press. All right. 
first thing we want to do is uh, wash it. And then what I do is I put the whole piece in here. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is a new garlic press. The other one I had, <laughs> when I shot videos, it made so much noise, you know. I mean, it was... What else we need to put in this stuff here? Oh, some Italian seasoning. I get this at my local uh, grocery store. Interesting store. They have pretty much uh, a very good stock. And like I said, I'm making this for my uh, these vegetarian friends of mine, uh, especially my friend Bob, who's uh, who I told you about the artist, uh, very talented. I understand he got a he wanted to, going to go to France for a month. Am I supposed to say this on the video? Ah, that's what. He's going to paint in France. Wow. Cool. Good stuff he does. Really nice. You know, I, I, know, you know, I have to look at it twice. So I, I asked him, I said, how do I know which is the top and bottom? And he said, the way the drops go. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, so here we go. We'll keep mixing this up here, right? I think it needs something else. Uh, how about some cheese? You know, pecorino amount of Oh. <laughs> wake up, everybody. Wake up. There you go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm telling you that, and I go in there with my hand. <sighs> okay. All right, so we're mixing it. All right. Now, it stings a little, a little dry. I might, let me put a little bit of uh, olive oil in there. So, uh, here we go. A little olive oil in there. Okay. That's it. Now let me get one hold of one of those uh, artichokes. There you go. Open it up, right? Hey, how about stuffing it with stuff? Right? Yeah. Let's push it in, you know, just pack it in there. You know, sometimes um, what they do is they put it on the sides. Uh, I don't like to do it. A lot of time when, when I put it in a pressure cooker, it, it sort of comes out. But what you can do, if, if you really like, you can stick some pieces of garlic in there. Well, this one looks pretty good. Huh? Uh, as usual, I made too much, but <laughs> hey, well, you can use the stuffing for something else, huh? Like what? Okay. Oh, roasted peppers. I could do that. I got some peppers. Oh, no, I cut them up. Um, I was in a restaurant uh, in the city uh, the other day. Organic portions. Oh, terrific food. And I had, uh, I had roasted peppers with aliche. I'm oh, sorry, uh, anchovies. You know, nobody likes anchovies, you know. All right. Okay, I mean... How simple was that? I mean, garlic, right? Uh, more garlic. Cheese. Uh, vegetable stock, you know. Actually, what I think, I'm going to just press them down a little bit. You don't want them too high because then the pressure... Right, you just pack it down. There it is. Just pack it away. Pieces of garlic on the side of it, uh, which helps out a bit. Actually, sometimes they make them, I've seen them made where the guy takes them and he cuts them like an angle. And it's a lot less easy to clean up and it's just cut like this and then he gets easier to stuff. I, it doesn't seem like an artichoke. A lot of people don't stuff them. They, um, they use uh, just, you know, put little the uh, bread, breadcrumbs inside of it and around the side. Pretty good though. So I'm putting a few here, not many. All right. Okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. I got a time limit on these videos. I still don't understand how people do it that fast. You know, I'm one man band here. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll pop these in with the other two and we'll go from there. Thanks. Anyway. So what I did is I stuffed them and 
and I put them in, in the pressure cooker and I filled it with, uh, with water and I have this uh, vegetable stock and I put some vegetable stock in here. So it's pretty good. All right. So I put that in there and you, what you want to do is you want to fill it not to over the, uh, the artichoke. You want to fill it up to the, up to the side, up just about almost to the, the top. All right. And we have oil in there and, you know, we put oil in there and we put pieces of garlic. You saw I, the, uh, and I put the stuff to with the bread. All right. And that's, that's a mixture of, of, you know, bread and breadcrumbs and, you know. All right. And this pressure cooker here, you know, don't do that, right? Uh, has a big uh, washer. And then it, uh, that kind of seals it. And then it has this, uh, a yellow button here. This yellow button, when it's under pressure, it pops. It'll go up. All right. When it's uh, the pressure is off, it comes down. And you have a lever here on the side that you can push up. All right. So, all right. So there, we're set. It grooves here that have to fit. There you go. Push this pin on and let it. Let it cook. I guess 15, 20 minutes, maybe. You know what you want to do, and, and you have to, you know, like if you smell it, it smells like it's 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 cooking. So then you know, put it uh, into the sink, and you know, and, and release the pressure. You have the valve that you can turn to the side, and it re releases the pressure. You know, the leaf of the artichoke, and see if it moves easily. If not, then you you know you you know you have to let it cook a little bit more. But but if you did this normally in a regular pot, it'd be there like forever. All right. Anyway, uh, this is, is going, and, uh, all right, oh, let me get one of these suckers out of here. There we go. That's about it. That's okay, we're finished. Um, the artichoke is done, and, uh, and it's, it's plated, and it's ready to eat. Uh, I do have a fork with me this time, so I'm ready to taste it. Uh, but I also have to tell you something. When you watch this video, you probably video you probably heard a lot of background new noise. Uh, that's it because I'm I did it in the afternoon and other people do live here, so uh, so they do have to live. And, uh, and so with the noise you heard, it's just part of what this is family style kitchen, my kitchen, what we have people in and out. And I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Um, so let me taste a little bit here. Hey, I only get a piece of this stuff here. Oh, mm, good. And the leaves on the artichoke are pretty simple. Uh, just pull it like that on your teeth. And it's great. Well, as we say in Italian, salute for Chiandan. Uh, thanks very much for watching and hope you enjoyed it.